Let's get sweaty. Hey guys, welcome to a Shenmue Dojo video. Today's video is going to be a short one. I want to talk a little bit about the Shenmue 4 2.5D project. Um, over the last week or so, probably slightly longer than that, there's been uh, a series of updates. I haven't caught up with them until just now, but I thought, do you know what? Let's collate them together in a very, very short video. Show off some new artwork, so show off some, some motion capture, etc. And just show off the project um, as it moves forward into what I am hoping will be a demo released either this month or next month but we'll see how things go so there's gonna be two sort of ports of call with this uh number one will be the forums and number two will be the shenmue 4 2.5d twitter uh the forum topic will be linked below for everybody to look at as well as the twitter page make sure you go and give those guys a follow over there uh the, the project's being led by x pointed there's a number of other people who are working on the project as well all the detail will be below so you can pick that up as you need to so let's let's dive straight into this then guys so first off we're going straight into the shenmue dojo forums and on the screen here, this was posted on Tuesday, you can see uh, a nice sketch of what I presume is Shenhua. Um, I don't know who's done this sketch, but it looks absolutely brilliant. Awesome little bit of work there. Uh, another sketch of what looks like Rio. They, they, they almost have that Shenmue sort of beta feel in terms of the pre-artwork that Kenji Miyawaki did back in the day. I quite, quite like the feel of this artwork. There's another one, I think, of Shenhua, possibly somebody else. Then below that, we've got Ren here with, with a sketch out of a horse. Then just below that, you've got the horse and Ren sort of filled in together. So that looks really, really cool. It's, it's very much in draft at this point, but again, looks quite cool. Coming back down, um, you can see there some sort of motion capture there as well. So you've got uh, a little bit of Landy hitting Rio. Uh, it looks quite fluid, actually. The design of Landy is really cool. You have Ren on his horse galloping towards something. And then you've got Zhuing there as well. Looks like she's walking with a purpose there. So that's the post on the forum. Um, as I said below, looks really, really awesome. And this project is really moving forward quite well. Then the second part I'm going to bring up is over on Twitter. So coming over here right now, I'm on my Twitter page and I'm on the Shenmue 4 2.5D project page. Uh, give them a follow at Shenmue 4 underscore 2 underscore 5 capital D and you can get all the updates on there as well. They've also got their own website, which I will check out in the video as we go forward. So coming down, uh, they made a post sort of five hours ago. There's some much more artwork here so you've got uh rio shenhua and nozomi i really like the sort of the 2d pixel art style with these they look really good uh rio and landy facing down that again i think captures the shenmue aesthetic but with that two that sort of 2d pixel art effect i think looks really good similar shot again and then you've got uh rio shenhua and a wow which i think I think might be the first time that we've seen a wow i could be wrong i could be making that up so that's a nice little look there uh further down uh you've got a couple of shots of rio here so you've got one of him standing up one of him sat down this is uh, probably just approaching a day ago now further down to that you've got uh shenhua oh it's gone into the wrong image again so you've got shenhua and Zhuing. And then next to that, you've got Rio and Zimming, which actually, I, I love the design of Zimming here. I think if you go back and cast your eyes to the comics, I think that design is, is pretty damn close to it. I really like the look there. Really, really cool. Moving further down, we've got the, the uh, image of Zhuing walking, which was obviously on the forums. Coming even further down, you've got Ren on the horse. We keep going, we keep going, we keep going. There we are. You can see Landy facing down Rio there. And then you've got a little bit more artwork here. Now, hopefully this opens up properly. Yes, it does. There we are. So you then got Rio, Shenhua, Landy and Niaosun. Now, that Niaosun design is very much in keeping with the original design work uh, from Kenji Miyawaki back in the day. But also, I think, sort of merges her newer design from Shenmue 3 quite nicely. I think it looks really cool. And then the next image here is, I think it's just a very similar look there. Just the four of them, I think in slow, slightly lower res. But the high res images here are absolutely stunning. The team are doing a really, really good job. Coming down, see if there's any any more here. You've got Rio um, sort of doing some weird sort of squat, almost horse stance type thing, possibly. Again, looking, looking really good. Um, these two images were on the forums. So the sketch of Ren and the horse, and then the horse filled in looking brilliant uh little little shot from george there 
and then coming down into uh, the sketches that I've showed off um, previously for Shenmue Day as well. So I genuinely think this project is, is, is coming together really, really nicely. Um, as I said, you can follow it on Twitter and, and the forums. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing this properly. There was a battle test demo, I think, earlier, uh, well, sort of late 2023, November, December 2023, I want to say, but I could get me could get my dates quite wrong. I, I don't really know. Um, but again, this project is coming together really, really, really nicely. And as I said, we are spoiled here for fan projects. Um, DMP at the top. Um, obviously, that's a massive scale project. Uh, you've got George Kitchen, who's absolutely smashed it out of the park with Dreams of Saturn and is going to be smashing it out of the park with his new Guilin adventure game. Uh, more info coming out in April. Obviously, Shenmue 4 2.5D, which is very much a completely different take on the Shenmue series, but looks absolutely fantastic. All the same, I love the art style. And then you've got a small Chobu Chan uh, Tamagotchi game on the way as well. So we are getting spoiled here for fan community game content which in the downtime we've got between Shenmue 3 and Shenmue 4 and the current sort of push towards Shenmue 4 I really do think these these fan projects are going to help keep the community alive and keep things buzzing as we go forward hopefully towards Shenmue 4 don't forget 4th of every month hashtag let's get Shenmue 4 and hashtag Shenmue anime 2 now guys the last thing i need to do before i close this video off is to give a shout out to our members um i won't go through the full details of it you can find all the details on our youtube page if you so wish but there are 26 of you now thank you very much so in no particular order sam say knk Runners, Richard Cartledge, That's Me Carl, Terry, Stuart Peacock, Mark the Pulverizer, Little Crypty Monster, Titch, Richard King, Sean Potter, Guppy Coy, Bruce Wayne, 937, Survival Spears, Peter Hoffland, Sean Don, Wandering Through Shenmue, Phantom Riverstone, Bruce Wayne, 911, Mike Franz, Manny Figueroa, uh, Master Mo, Nick Hughes, Sean Hastings, Clunky Mage, and William Lovering. Thank you for enjoying the content and helping with the dojo running costs by, by contributing £2 a month. If you do want to sign up, all the details are there. You get all the videos ahead of time should you so wish thank you everybody for dropping in on the dojo content uh keep following all these fan projects that are out there as i say these are very very much very important in keeping the community buzz going and i'm really really excited about these projects don't forget to give us a like share subscribe on youtube facebook twitter all the usual places you can find us and i'll be back with a video in the not too distant future but for now guys take care and have a good one